Hi, I'm Nikki Allison for Esoteric Technologies and today I'm going to be demonstrating for you how to add the fixed stars to an existing chart using Astro Gold Astrology software. The fixed stars have been used since ancient times to help with weather prediction and they still can be used today for weather prediction. So let's get stuck into it. So as you can see, we have our demo chart cast here. And the way I got there was to go to new name. You can call it whatever you like, date and time. We'll choose now, place. You can change that here with the arrows or look it up by clicking place. We have the tropical zodiac, which you can change with the arrows, geocentric or heliocentric. And you can change what house system you're using here as well. And then we just click on Calculate, select as Chart 1. So to add extra points such as fixed stars, all we need to do is go up to Preferences up here in the top menu, click on that and click on Displayed. And as you can see, we have all the planets highlighted here and they are the ones that are in the chart demonstrated. So we've got the Moon, who is cold and wet in nature. We have the sun, who is hot and dry in nature. We have Mercury, who is cold and dry or hot and wet in nature, depending on how he's positioned with the sun. Same goes for Venus. We have Mars, who is hot and dry. We have Jupiter, who is hot and wet. We have Saturn, who is cold and dry. And the outer planets, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto, who don't really have qualities such as hot, wet, cold, dry. Now to add extra points, all we have to do is go to add extra points. And here you will see a drop down menu. At the moment, midpoints are selected, but we're looking for fixed stars. So we just click on stars. And here we are. There's a whole heap of different fixed stars. You can choose which ones from this menu you want to have a look at. But from this menu, I'm going to choose three fixed stars. I'll choose Presepe, Regulus and Vega. So all we have to do is scroll down until we find our first one, which is Regulus. All the way down to R. And you can see how many there are. And there is Regulus. So we just click on her and we choose Add. So Regulus in meteorology mostly has a north to northeast wind. If Regulus is setting in the chart here on the horizon, she can indicate a north wind and sometimes rain. With the sun, she can indicate thunder and lightning. Here's the sun up here. So if she was with the sun, she would indicate thunder and lightning. And there's Regulus there in the chart. If she was with Mercury, this would indicate winds, showers, thunder and lightning. With Mars, and right now Mars is down here in Gemini, this would indicate great heat because Mars is a hot and dry planet. If Regulus was setting with Mars on this side of the horizon, this would indicate turbulent, windy and often sultry weather. And if Regulus was with Jupiter, here's Jupiter now in a cold, wet sign, this would indicate fair weather in winter, which would mitigate the cold and increasing heat in summer. If Regulus was with Saturn, here's Saturn here, this would indicate thunder, rain and changeable weather. To add more fixed stars, back to preferences. And this time, let's add Presepe. So we go up to P and there's the Presepe cluster there. We click on Add. Now, Presepe in meteorology, if she does not appear when the air is serene and clear, it can be token foul, cold and winterly weather. If Presepe is with the sun, we can see Presepe here in Leo. If those stars are with the sun, it can indicate thunder, lightning, showers and cloudy seasons. With Saturn, it can indicate wind, clouds, rain and thunder. Now to add more stars, back to preferences, and this time we'll go down to V and we'll select Vega. There she is. So we'll add Vega and go back to the chart. 
and we can see Vega up here in Capricorn. If Vega was, is with the Sun, this can indicate cold and moist conditions. With Mercury, this can indicate a sudden change to wind and wet. With Mars rising or setting, this can indicate turbulent, windy and often sultry weather. With Saturn, this can indicate moist and cloudy conditions. There's Saturn there and sometimes snow and rain. So to save these preferences, all we need to do is go back to this particular window and we can see that the three extra points have been added and we choose save as. And now the system will ask us to set a name for this point of points, this set of points. So I'm just going to call this fixed stars and we choose OK. And that will save the preferences. Now to delete all of these stars, what we need to do is click on the three extra points, click on the individual stars here, and highlight and click delete, 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 and that will remove them from the system. And that's how you add extra stars to a chart.